When the crows come, they will look like doves. They, all gold-toed and slick-coated, will come to us in offering, a promise of new growth. And we, having not seen the shadow of God in years around here, will welcome them, all unlocked arms, praying palms and bowed fingers, waiting to embrace the first sign of life that comes to us. Can we know what it is to have beaks pecked into our chest? The crow is a scavenging animal. When it feeds, it scours for the closest things to wounded flesh, an injured hair, some dying grain, a small dog. And I've seen those toes before. Watch them sneak into the stomachs of hungry folk, tear out their tongues from the inside. I've watched them flock to food from generous hands only to peck at their palms once they're done. Pennsylvania's, at Rhode Island's, Connecticut's, and Ohio's. I've seen them squeeze poor pockets for every crumb and coin. So when the crows come, it will not look like a bird. It'll look like a slot bar in the Mohegan sun, like Wind Hotel's Atlantic City, out 8,000 jobs in a year. In fact, when asked if he'd want a casino in his hometown, CEO of American Gaming said NIMBY, not in my backyard. In other states, just five years after arrival, they've more than doubled rates of assault, robbery, and rape. And though the gaming industry knows this, they have spent nearly $10 million to wear the mask job creator, when in fact, casinos kill on average one job per slot machine. Why they come is for addicts. Over half a casino's revenue comes from problem gambling, so slots are scientifically designed to get locals addicted. This, though more than a fifth of all addicts will attempt suicide. The casino is a scavenging animal. When it feeds, it scours for the closest things to wounded flesh, a low-income home, an immigrant community, a job-needing place. It will fly state to state, attempting to exploit desperate and too addicted. This glutton, this murder, this law-abiding thief prey upon the poor, perceives us as roadkill, as sitting meats waiting to be made into a meal. It has mistaken hurts for dead, bloody for a carcass. Yes, we have been wounded. Yes, we've been oppressed, gentrified, and marginalized. But we have bled enough times to know a predator when we smell one. And they have feasted on our families for the last time. With here, they will not find our hands giving, but clenched fists, remembering too well the red on their wings. We will not suck their lives a vacuum, but warn our people of the blood they bring. We will make sirens from our tongues, spread truth like an alarm here in this earth of our state, in this state of our homes. We will scream with the strength of six million stomachs that they have clawed at our communities for the last time. When the casinos come, when this predator comes, we will stand all stiffened arms, strengthened palms and firm fingers, ready to scare whatever crow may come to us. We will be right here, ready in this field, nailed into this ground as we have always been.